Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Wi-Fi network on Asus RTBE 88U router and also briefly walk you through the web interface and Asus router application. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at the back panel of this high-performance router and talk about physical connections. There are lots of ports and labels here and what they're all about. So this middle pane contains uh, eight LAN outputs, four of them support 2.5 gigabit speed and four of them just only one gigabit, uh, which is still pretty fast. You can use LAN outputs to connect your uh, computers, access points, smart TVs, gaming consoles and so on and distribute your internet traffic to your devices. Also, port number four is labeled as gaming port, which means you can prioritize traffic to this port and have a uh, more stable connection for your gaming computer or gaming console. And port number one can also work as internet input and you can use it to connect with your modem to provide the internet connection to your router. But if you have internet faster than uh, 2.5 gigabit, uh, you need to use uh, one of these ports. So one of them is Ethernet port and one of them is SPF plus port. And uh, if your modem has SPF plus output, I recommend you to use exactly this port because it supports optical connection, which is more stable and of course faster. But do not use both ports at the same time. It will not give you uh, anything. So depending on your internet speed and modem socket type, uh, select a port for internet connection. In my case, my internet is under 2.5 gigabit, so this port is more than enough. Connect Ethernet cable to this port or to this if, if you have faster internet. And the other end of this cable connect to LAN output on your modem. It's gonna look like this. If you don't have a modem, connect the other end to LAN socket uh, in your wall. It means your modem is just hidden in a technical room. Finally, let's power on the rotor. So here is uh, the power socket. Plug in your cable over here and plug in the power adapter somewhere to power outlet. Uh, what you need now is wait for Wi-Fi signals on the front panel. Oh, but I've forgotten to press the power button. Here it is, you need to press it. Now the rotor is powered on and you need to wait for Wi-Fi signal. It means the rotor is ready to set up. As I told you before, you have two options to set up your rotor and the first one is Asus Rotor Application. It's available both for iOS and Android devices. So download the app, open it and on the first page scroll down all the way down find this checkbox i'm above the age of 16 years agree agree to this privacy notice and welcome to the home screen you need to allow to find devices on local networks this is necessary for uh, the setup process and also allow to use your location while using app and then just tap on setup Select ASUS Wi-Fi routers and you need to connect to the router setup network. Two ways to do it is connect manually or enable camera and scan. Uh, in both cases uh, you can find the information on the product label. At the bottom of your router here is the product label. You can find the net network name for manual connection. Uh, you just need to open settings and connect your smartphone to uh, that network. Or uh, my favorite option is just enable camera and scan. Just allow access to camera and scan QR code. That's it and just join to the network. Now it's detecting the rotor. So once detected, just hit get started. I don't think you need advanced settings unless you know something special about your internet connection type. In most cases, this is just uh, DHCP. So uh, you need to hit get started and wait for detecting your internet connection status. Next, if you have some spatial requirement from your internet provider, just toggle the switcher and select uh, this requirement. In other case, just hit next. And let's create Wi-Fi network. You need to enter network name. It'll be Asus router for this example. And create Wi-Fi password. 
Of course, I recommend you to create stronger password in real life, but for this example, it's just fine. Also, you can create separate uh, password for IoT network. IoT means Wi-Fi network for your home appliances, like fridges, smart cameras, and so on. Uh, so once, cre once created, hit next and create your admin username and password to manage the router from you know, web interfaces and, and different smartphones. Same as before, I recommend you stronger passwords. Confirm your password. This password is more important than your Wi-Fi password because if you uh, forget this password, you will not be able to manage your device and change your Wi-Fi password, by the way. So uh, once created, write down this credential, uh, hit next, and it's setting up your network. Uh, if new firmware is available, I recommend you to update it right away, but in this example, I will skip this step to save time. So once set up, Asus Rotor application wants to connect to your new network. So join to this network. And it's optimizing the network, whatever it means. Here is your summary, Wi-Fi network name and passwords, uh, your admin credentials, so hit finish. You can disable notifications if you don't want to receive. Uh, and enable remote connection if you have um, Asus, Asus account. But let's skip this step so far, this is uh, not a topic uh, of this video. Don't allow notifications. Well, your system is up and running and here is the home screen of Asus Rotor application. You can manage almost everything in your rotor uh, from uh, this app. For example, you can tap on this uh, home icon and see your network configuration. As you know, this is an extendable rotor, which means you can connect another rotors of ASUS brand and, and create seamless mesh Wi-Fi network. And you will see all devices on this screen. You can tap on any device and see information about it, see which ports on each device are in use, uh, see information about your rotor, like IP address, uh, MAC address, and so on. Uh, by the way, you can disable LEDs if, if they are distracting you. So let's go back. Uh, also, let's go back to home screen. You can swipe left, see the network name uh, section, and tap on the screen and change your wireless settings, including your Wi-Fi network name, password, and much more settings, which are also not the topic of this video. Apply to the user manual and chat GPT, by the way. Uh, also, let's swipe left one more time and you can see connected clients. You can tap here and block and unblock users connected to your Wi-Fi network from here. If you need more settings, all of them are uh, organized here. So lots of settings like quality of service, internet settings, LAN settings, uh, AI protection and so on. Uh, so let's go back home and uh, let's move on. Another way to set up your router is do it from a web interface on your computer. To do this, you need to connect to Asus Setup Network. You already know uh, where to find this network name on the product label. And then in any web browser, type in the router's default IP address. By default, for Asus Rotor, it always looks like this, 192.168.50.1, uh, then hit enter on your keyboard and it takes you to the web interface, just hit create a new network and you have pretty the same dialogue as in application, so I won't walk you through it uh, for the second time. Just create your na network name, password, admin credentials and you're all set. The difference with setup on a smartphone you will notice after the setup, because if you access the router's web interface by this IP address, you will see much more settings than in Asus Rotor application. Web interface gives you the full control over your device. For example, let's click on wireless and same on the smartphone, you can change your Wi-Fi network name and password and adjust some settings, but also you have a lot of tabs over here lot of tabs over here and the same in each menu uh, so explore it yourself i need 1.5 hour video to describe everything and for now you're all set
If this video was helpful, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us, any questions comment below and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye guys.